Hi class, welcome to Math 144. Let's talk about getting started in Alex. Alex, you have to set up through Halo. We do not have a course code. You're going to access Alex through Halo. When you access Alex through Halo for the very first time, you have to go through class resources in Halo. So I have my Halo class open. This is my Halo class for Math 144. This is an upcoming class that's going to start next week. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Alex account set up. I'm going to open the menu for Alex so I can see all of my options. So they're all expanded. And I want to go find class resources. This is going to be right above your topics. Under classroom materials, you're looking for class resources. When you go into class resources, this will open up the resources you have available to you. The order of these resources may change. So you may not see them in the same order they're appearing on my page. But we've got Alex for Math 144, we've got some different support options here, the Math Center, and then some review down, and then Lopes Right. You are looking for Alex for Math 144. That is what you need to find. Once you find that, you're going to hit View Resource. After you click on View Resource, it is going to open a page that walks you through the steps to set up your Alex account. So. Find class resources in your Halo course, go to View Resource, and click on View Resource. So once you hit that View Resource, my screen is going to start looking different from your screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some screenshots of what you should see as you are setting up that Alex account. So again, after you click View Resource, it should open up a page that looks similar to this. This is going to be where you log into your account if you have an Alex account or you set up a new account. So only log in if you've had an Alex account at GCU before. Otherwise, select no, I have never used Alex before. Selecting no, never, I have never used Alex before will let you create a new account. The new account will use your GCU credentials and it will link to our course. So you want to select no, I have never used Alex before. Hit that continue. And then it should open up a page where you can enter your information. Some information may fill in for you. All the information you want to fill in should be your GCU information. So you've got your first name, your last name, your GCU email address, and then agree to the terms and conditions, and then you'll hit continue. Then it's going to open up this page saying that your account is paired. That is great. That's exactly what you want. So keep hitting continue, and you can keep going through the process. All right, after you hit that continue, it is going to open it up to your Alex home page. The Alex home page will not automatically start in our course. So it's going to give you a little tutorial window, and that's what this tutorial window is showing. It's showing that you're going to be opened up a screen where you have all of your possible Alex courses. Because you could have more than one Alex course at a time. That is possible. It could be for a different class other than Math 144. So you need to make sure you select the class to actually open it. So when you get to the page where you can see the tiles, you want to se select the map 144 and it will have your course start date in it. You need to click on the blue link. So like it's showing you in this little image here, you'll click on that blue link. It's probably going to end up being where this class is sitting behind that picture. And that's what you'll click on and that will take you into our Alex course. All right, I'm going to say it one more time. Make sure you click, actually click on our course, click on the link. It'll look like a tile. Click on the link. Once you click on that link, it should open up our Alex course, and it's going to push you into the tools, tips, how to use Alex. And then it should start looking something like this. So this is where it should start looking once you have accessed our Alex course. So you can go through all of the tips. It's going to show you how everything works, how you can access everything, how to type your answers in. It's going to run you through all those tips at first. So you'll have your main menu in the top left. You have notifications. And then you have where you can get started with your tools tutorial. So go ahead and start with that tools tutorial. That is going to show you how to enter your answers into Alex. So they'll show you here is your answer box. You need to type your answers in. You can clear your answer, you can undo, follow all of those steps to work through that tutorial. It'll give you little boxes to show you as you go. And you just keep working through the tutorial until it finishes. It'll show you how to graph, it'll show you how to enter fractions, it'll show you everything you need to know so you can type in all of your answers when you go to take that initial knowledge check. 
once you get done with the tutorial, so once you've worked through everything, you've learned how to type in all of your answers, then it's going to push you into the initial knowledge check. All right, so let me go ahead and finish my tutorial. So you will finish the tutorial. Make sure you know how to do everything. Once you finish the tutorial, continue through, and then it will push you into your knowledge check. This is where you need to pause. You need to be prepared to start the knowledge check. The knowledge check is important for our class. The knowledge check could help you test out of topics in the homework assignment. So you need to take this seriously. Don't start it immediately and rush through it as quickly as possible. Make sure you can take your time and actually work through the problems. If you don't know how to do a problem, that is okay. But if you do know how to do it or if you think you do know how to do it, give it an attempt because if you get it right, you could eliminate that topic from your homework. When you work through that initial knowledge check, you're going to have limited access to the items in Alex, so keep that in mind. Once you finish the initial knowledge check, you will have access to more. You'll have access to the homework, to the reviews, to the DQs. All of that will open up once you finish this initial knowledge check. So again, it'll talk to you about your tool tips. Make sure you understand your tool tips before you start your initial knowledge check. It's talking to you about how you should make sure you have a pencil and paper. You should be prepared. Act like you're going to sit down and take a test. The initial knowledge check is not a time test. It could take you, um, generally it takes you about an hour. It could take you longer than an hour. It could take you less than an hour. I would plan to give yourself an hour. If you tend to take longer on tests, then give yourself more than an hour. If you tend to be quicker, you may do it in less than an hour. But my general rule of thumb is give yourself at least an hour to work through this initial knowledge check. And then here it's going to tell you before you start, it'll tell you what you have access to. They'll give you a calculator. They'll give you a question if you need help with the tools. And then at the bottom, you'll be able to have I don't know and submit. So let's go ahead and start it so you can see how it'll look online. So once I'm ready, I have my paper. I can take notes, do my scratch work. Once I'm ready, I'll hit that start knowledge check. And then it will start pushing me into the questions. So here I can read through my question, I can type in my answer. If I have no idea, absolutely no idea, and I don't want to give it an attempt, I can hit I don't know. But again, try to avoid that button, try to give it an attempt, because if you do get it right, it could be eliminated from your homework assignment. If you need any help with the tools, you can have that question mark there, box there, and it'll help walk you through those tutorials again, if you need help with how to type your answers in. And then if you go into the menu while you're taking this, you have access to the message center and the textbook. After you finish the knowledge check, more of this will open up. So go through, answer all the questions, give it your best attempt. Once you're done, submit it, and then your Alex will open it up, and I have a separate video that will show you around your Alex after completing the initial knowledge check. I hope this helps. Reach out to your instructor if you have any follow-up questions.